testing rollbacks are now looming for several Valley counties. This as the number of COVID-19 cases to continue to increase statewide. CBS 47's AJ Cotto joins us live in downtown Fresno. AJ, health officials are now giving us a warning. Ken, yes, case rates are climbing, and Dr. Race Vora says we are seeing some other concerning trends. That's why he says this time next week, he does predict us to be back in the purple, most restrictive tier. Bad news across the board for Valley counties hoping to make the move into less restrictive tiers. Uh, last week, uh, we'd met the red tier metrics, and we're hoping for that again this week, but similar to many counties in California, went up. Dr. Simon Paul says like many Madera counties seeing a concerning uptick of new COVID-19 cases. Fresno County's case rate or number of people testing positive each day per 100,000 now 8.3, putting it over the threshold of seven to keep its current red tier status. It's on the one hand disappointing. Um, on the other hand, it's not very surprising because we've seen the numbers tick up um, just over the last five to seven days. And um, and so I think we're going to be told that we're going to be in purple next week. Meaning restaurants, churches, and gyms can no longer operate indoors. Two other current red tier counties also in danger of moving back. Kings County has a case rate of 8.4 and Merced reported 12.8. Both need to be under seven or they'll fall back to the purple tier next week. We anticipate if things stay the way they are, that between this week and next week, over half of California counties will have moved into a more restrictive tier. All Valley counties not already in the most restrictive tier fall into this category. This as the holiday season is just getting underway. You know, there's a difference between doing nothing and doing everything. You can, you know, get together, but carefully have, you know, gatherings but with only one or two families, not, you know, seven or eight. And doing those things can really take the edge off the increasing numbers of cases. And the numbers released today do account for the week ending October 31st. So health officials are saying the true impact of things like Halloween or election parties may still not be known. Reporting live in downtown Fresno, AJ Cotto, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.